Hello, Jesse Hidalgo here with Hearing Group. Today joining us is Ryan Crenshaw with our Ponca City location. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, all. Yeah, we're excited to have you. Yeah. If you're new to our channel, we're here to educate more people about hearing loss and hearing aids and ultimately help people hear better. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching. So today we're going to be talking about a great subject. I think it's going to be good and maybe out of curiosity just to see if you encounter it in your practice. So the subject is by cross hearing aids where some people are maybe not that familiar with uh, that term but maybe if somebody has a, a really bad hearing loss on one side and maybe just a little bit of a hearing loss on the other side, do they need two hearing aids or do they not? Do you ever encounter that scenario in your practice, Ryan? Um, I do encounter that often from patients. They'll come in and say, oh, well, I'm deaf on one side or, oh, I can't use this ear. Um, and my initial question and thought is, well, why can't you? Have you ever heard of a Bicross and the benefits of that system? Yeah, in fact, we get that all the time. In fact, a lot of folks tend to not know that that's actually an option, right? Yeah. And so when we kind of dig deeper into it, we kind of maybe start getting a little bit of history and we start asking them questions. What's the number one reason why they feel like they can't be helped on that one side? What would you say? Um, I would say they've been told previously that they can't hear from that side. Yeah, so unfortunately, either they've had a hearing test somewhere else, or maybe they went to the doctor, and the doctor maybe is just not as uh, you know up to date in regards to technology, and maybe they just didn't realize that that was an option. Would that be true? I would think so, yeah. Yeah, and so when we kind of present that option to the friends or to the patients that are coming into the practice, what's typically their reaction? Um, I think some patients are a little hesitant at first, but once we explain um, how the Bicross works and all the benefits of it, um, they really love it. I have so many patients that wear a Bicross and it's really life-changing to be able to hear um, from your dead ear, essentially. So. Yeah, and you know what I think is kind of exciting is that the proof is in the pudding. And so they're kind of, I don't know, is it going to work? Is it maybe? I hope, right? They kind of get all these emotions. They do. They get, they get nervous. Yeah. So. And then when we actually put it on them, uh -huh. wow, the magic really happens. They really start to come to life. Now, what is a Bicross? Let's kind of dig a little bit deeper into that. And so can you help us understand? Well, so basically in layman terms, say you have a hearing loss on one side that's completely aidable, and then you have the other ear that either is unaidable because the thresholds are too poor, so they're in the profound hearing range, or another reason is their ability to understand speech on the opposite ear um, is way worse with than the better ear. And then when we do a binaural, um, it's lower. So at that time, that's when you would want to look at a Bicross option. Yeah, and that, I'm glad you brought that up because sometimes we run across the friends that maybe uh, they went someplace, they had a hearing test, they even bought a set of hearing aids, right? A set, mm -hmm. because maybe they were told that they had hearing loss in both ears. But in your scenario, if that discrimination or that speech ability to understand speech is so poor on one side, and then they put both hearing aids on, mm -hmm. What would happen at that point where when both the signals are going into the ears and going up to the brain, what tends to happen if one is so bad that uh, they really can't understand what's happening on that side? Um, so it's something called binaural degradation where it actually pulls your understandability down. Um, binaural degradation basically in layman's terms is you understand worse because the poorer ear is dragging down the better ear. And that's one of the number one reasons why people tend to think that wearing a hearing instrument on both sides is not a benefit to them, right? It's because maybe they just weren't fit or maybe explained uh, about some of the options that were out there. Would you, would you agree with that? I would agree with that. Yeah. yeah. And so going back to that, uh, if you have a real poor score on this side, let's say 10, 15, 20, wherever it falls inside there, and you have like a 90, 96, well, my goodness, by the time you feed the signal over here and the signal over here, your overall score drops down. So even this score is, is struggling harder because it's trying to understand what's being said over here. So it just makes it harder, right? Yes. Okay, so what do we do about something like that? So what happens is we put a transmitter on the bad ear or the bad side and it captures all the sound and transmit everything to the good ear. They're actually wearing two hearing aids. Correct. Right? Mm -hmm. now they're not both performing at the same rate. So in other words, you said 
you use the word transmitter, uh -huh. right? So I got I have a hearing aid on this side because I have a little bit of loss right. on this side. And then I have a hearing aid on this side and you said transmitting. So that's, I'm taking it as that takes the signal and routes it over to the other hearing aid. That would be correct, yeah. So if someone walks up to your essentially bad or dead ear, it captures all of that and transmits it over to your good ear so you can still hear that. You don't have to say, huh, or talk into my good ear. Yeah, and so therefore we're not taking all of this and feeding it to the brain where it was having a hard time understanding. In fact, what was that term again? Binaural? Binaural degradation. Yeah, and so that's a really big term that some of you folks that are suffering from single-sided deafness, you need to really understand that term because if you do it improperly, if you feed the signal to the bad ear, you're going to get that, right? It's going to bring down your ability to understand speech. So that's why this is so good, right? I love it. I have so many patients that just love it. I love it as well. Uh, it, over all the years, we've fit so many people with it. And just to see the, see the light on their face and just see them happy is just amazing. So now, Ryan, now that we know that, let's talk about maybe manufacturer options. So most manufacturers offer some sort of Bicross system or their hearing aids can be configured to be a Bicross inside the technology. Yeah, so this is a, a grand option. So if you are living in somewhere where you're, you don't have a hearing group in front of you, no, no problem. So any professional that's out there should be able to educate you in regards to cross and by cross hearing aid. The purpose of this video is by cross hearing aid. We have another video that's talking about cross that you can watch that and we'll put it down in the description below. But any professional will be able to educate you in regards to that. So make sure you ask if you have single sided deafness where you're deaf or really low speech ability on the other side, it's worth looking into, right? And so, and you, like you said, most manufacturers have that ability to either buy it that way or be configured that way, mm -hmm. right? So because the brands that we deal with may not necessarily be the brands that are that are available in your area. So, but again, do your research, get out there and and, uh, and find out which ones are available in your area. So we do a lot of bicross in our, our practices, right? We do. Yeah, and so when we do that, is, do we have a favorite, by the way? I have a favorite, so I can't speak for any other consultants, but um, I know that Unitron um, hearing aids can be configured to be a Bicross, uh, and so I really love that uh, feature in Unitron. So. Yeah, and so you know when we think about Unitron, uh, we love the fact that it can be configured that way, so we can take a regular set of hearing instruments and make it that way. Why is that important, by the way? Now, you, you bring that up. Is there a reason why you're bringing that up? Uh, I bring that up because for my specific situation is I had a patient who was fit binaurally with two hearing aids and the discrimination was poor. Um, he was struggling with hearing um, and understanding from one side and he didn't have to purchase a new set of hearing instruments. We could just convert his current Unitron hearing aids to be a Bicross um, and it changed his life to be able to understand a lot better. Yeah, that's important. Uh, and the reason why that's important, I think, because when I hear that story, I always think, okay, hearing instruments are expensive, are. right? And so you can spend two, three, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars on them, right? And so when I think about that, I kind of think, wow, you're spending all that money, and then all of a sudden, maybe you got sick or something happened where you lost your hearing on that side. And do you have to buy a whole other set of hearing instruments? Well, in your scenario with your patient, we could e easily reconfigure that. Right. Yeah, and so they weren't out the big huge cost two years down the road, they could just be reconfigured and so. And that's what I love about Unitron is that they are so flexible in their technology that we can do all kinds of different things that are all in the patient's best interest. And so I love that. Me too. So in conclusion, if you're suffering from a single-sided hearing loss or you've been told that maybe you are deaf in one ear, um, I encourage you to go to a hearing care professional and, and ask about a Bicross. Yeah, that's so important. Folks, do your research. It's so, so important because in order for you to really get the best out of your hearing, there's options out there. You can do this, right? We'd love to be able to hear about your story or maybe some questions that you have. Leave them in the comments below. We're happy to get right back with you. Again, Jesse Hidalgo here with Hearing Group. Again, with Ryan Crenshaw with our Ponca City office. Thank you so much for joining us and educating us on Bicross hearing aids. Thanks for having me. It's something I'm really passionate about, so I like to tell patients about the system. All right, folks. We hope you enjoy and happy hearing.